Stage 2 Kidney Disease Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a condition in which the kidneys gradually lose their ability to function properly over time. There are five stages of CKD, with stage 1 being the mildest and stage 5 being the most severe. In stage 2 kidney disease, the kidneys are filtering out waste products from the blood at a slightly lower rate than normal, but still well enough to maintain overall kidney function. This is typically measured through a test called the Estimated Glomerular Filtration Rate EGFR, which estimates how well the kidneys are filtering waste from the blood. In stage 2, the EGFR is between 60 and 89 milliliters per minute per 1.73 square meters. It is estimated using a formula that takes into account factors such as age, sex, and creatinine levels. It's important to note that GFR is just one aspect of kidney function and should be considered in conjunction with other exams, such as blood and urine tests. In addition, GFR can fluctuate over time, so multiple measurements may be needed to accurately assess kidney function. It's also worth noting that GFR alone is not a reliable indicator of kidney disease progression or the risk of complications. Other factors, such as the presence of protein in the urine or the underlying cause of kidney disease, can also affect outcomes. Overall, monitoring GFR in stage 2 kidney disease is an important part of managing the condition and preventing further kidney damage. Your healthcare provider may recommend regular blood and urine tests to monitor your kidney function and suggest ways to help protect your kidneys. The creatinine levels may be slightly elevated, but they are still within the normal range. Creatinine is a waste product that is produced by the muscles and excreted by the kidneys. The level of creatinine in the blood is a commonly used indicator of kidney function, as the kidneys are responsible for filtering creatinine from the blood. As kidney function declines, the creatinine levels in the blood tend to rise, as the kidneys are no longer able to filter waste products and toxins as effectively. Monitoring creatinine levels through blood tests is an important way to track changes in kidney function and adjust treatment as needed. It's important to note that creatinine levels can be affected by a variety of factors, such as age, sex, muscle mass, and diet. There are a variety of underlying causes of CKD, with the most common being high blood pressure and diabetes. Other conditions that cause kidney damage include kidney infections, autoimmune diseases, and some medications. In order to manage stage 2 kidney disease, it is important to address any underlying conditions that may be contributing to kidney damage. In stage 2 kidney disease, some individuals may not experience any symptoms at all, and the condition may only be detected through routine blood and urine tests. However, in some cases, people with stage 2 kidney disease may experience mild symptoms, such as increased urination, also known as polyuria, which is typically defined as producing more than 2.5 to 3 liters of urine per day in adults can be a symptom of a variety of medical conditions, including kidney disease, diabetes, urinary tract infections, and certain medications. The kidneys are still able to perform their basic functions, but their ability to concentrate urine may be slightly reduced. As a result, individuals with stage 2 chronic kidney disease may notice that they need to urinate more frequently than usual. Foamy urine Foamy urine, also known as proteinuria, happens when the kidneys are damaged and may not be able to properly filter protein from the urine, resulting in foamy or bubbly urine. In stage 2 chronic kidney disease, proteinuria is usually mild, but it can still be an early indicator of kidney damage. Over time, as kidney function declines, proteinuria may worsen, leading to more severe symptoms and complications. It's important to note that foamy urine can also be caused by a variety of other conditions, such as urinary tract infections, dehydration, and certain medications. Swelling, 
also known as edema, occurs when excess fluid builds up in the body's tissues, leading to swelling, particularly in the legs, ankles, and feet. The kidneys play a crucial role in regulating the body's fluid balance by removing excess fluid and waste products from the bloodstream. When the kidneys are damaged, they may not be able to properly regulate fluid balance, leading to fluid retention and swelling. In stage 2 chronic kidney disease, swelling is usually mild, but it can still be a sign of kidney damage. Over time, as kidney function declines, swelling may worsen, leading to more severe symptoms and complications. Other conditions that can cause edema include heart failure, liver disease, and certain medications. Fatigue, or a feeling of tiredness or exhaustion, can occur when the kidneys are not functioning properly by removing waste as effectively as healthy kidneys, which can lead to a buildup of toxins in the bloodstream that can cause general fatigue or weakness, as well as other symptoms such as loss of appetite or difficulty concentrating. You may feel more tired than usual even after getting enough sleep. Although this is not a common symptom, you may experience pain or discomfort in the back, just below the rib cage. The kidneys are located in the upper abdomen, and the pain in this area or in the back near the kidneys can be a sign of kidney damage or infection. It's important to note that all these symptoms listed are often mild and can be caused by a variety of conditions. Therefore, it is important to consult with your healthcare provider if you notice any of these symptoms listed. They can perform the necessary tests to determine the underlying cause. In summary, stage 2 kidney disease is a mild form of chronic kidney disease, CKD, characterized by some degree of kidney damage and a slightly reduced glomerular filtration rate, GFR. Treatment may involve lifestyle changes, such as a healthy diet and regular exercise, managing underlying conditions such as high blood pressure or diabetes, and monitoring kidney function through regular checkups and blood and urine tests. However, with proper management, it is possible to help slow the progression of the disease, prevent complications such as kidney failure, and preserve kidney function allowing individuals with stage 2 chronic kidney disease to live long and healthy lives. If you've gotten value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel as this is part 2 of 5 in the series related to kidney disease.